Now, something that we've been hoping for an announcement on for many years now is a drag strip here in Melbourne. For many, many years now, we've been saying, people are coming up and saying, oh, you don't cover drag racing anymore. That's because there hasn't been any serious drag racing in Melbourne for over a decade. A group called Motivate Melbourne are lobbying government at the moment to try and get a drag strip somewhere in Victoria, somewhere where we can have championship level drag racing, like they do in Sydney at Sydney International Dragway, like they do in Queensland at Willow Bank and over, in, over at Perth. Somebody who is listening at the moment is the state uh, opposition MLC. He is Richard De La Riva and he joins us tonight on the program. Richard, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Now, OK, now let's uh, start. Why? Why are you interested in this? Well, I've always been a drag racing fan. If there's a motorsport that I've uh, watched ever since I was a young boy is, uh, has been drag racing. So uh, I used to go to Calder, Heathcote. Uh, anywhere where there was a quarter mile track I'd uh, head there and watch and I think I fell in love with they had the funny cars and the top fuels and uh, all, anything that sort of went down a quarter mile in a, in a straight line was my, uh, my bent so uh, I used to go to Calder uh, when they had the championships with uh, Andra and of course when we lost that because it wasn't a, uh, a purpose built drag strip that was capable of meeting all the new cars that were coming on we're now doing four and a half second drags now around the world, um, we obviously lost that. And I think Melbourne being a events capital um, should have the opportunity of a, of a drag strip. I was very pleased, Brett, to go to the Motivate, um, the only politician there, uh, and to hop into one of the top fuel drag cars. Um, and I, I say to people that if you really want a drag strip in Victoria, um, people have just got to get behind lobbying government, lobbying the opposition, and say, look, enough is enough. There are international standard drag strips everywhere else in, in Australia except here in Victoria. And I think, to be fair, Victorians need one. The interesting thing is, I mean, we've seen just recently the opening of the new soccer and rugby stadium down there. Um, we've just been announced sort of, you know, the, the world's great sporting city. But a lot of people would say, you know, why do, why do we need this government money? I mean, we did a story on Hampton Downs in New Zealand a couple of weeks ago, and that was a brand new circuit over there, and not one cent of government funding is. So, so what's the argument for government funding for a, a venue like a, a drag strip in Melbourne? Well, I think Andrew, Andrew have obviously come to, uh, to the government, to the Labor government, and they've come to myself, uh, obviously, in opposition. I think the difference is, though, that what they've done is the sport and recreational division within the government have been dealing with the issue about building a drag strip and you raise the issue about the rectangular stadium that is actually built within the confines of the major projects portfolio which I'm the responsible minister major projects are for those types of projects that are one-off very unique uh, you're not going to build a drag strip every year for the next 30 years but you might build a drag strip that will have the capacity to be in existence for 30 years so I think there's a bit of confusion as to where uh, the portfolio responsibilities are and I, I'm very pleased that my party has, has allowed me in the major projects portfolio to run with this. Uh, there is a significant amount of money that's needed uh, by either government or by private investors and I think there is some modelling that needs to be undertaken. I understand that uh, Andra, the peak representative, have decided they wanted to put forward a proposition for a quad track. It's a very unique sort of novel thing. Whether that's appropriate in the circumstances, uh, I'm still looking at that. They've also looked about a location. I think you mentioned uh, somewhere in the western part of uh, Melbourne. Again, we've got to be mindful about the sensitivities about population growth. One of the major concerns about colder, uh, of course, is that we are so close, or the, the population has expanded so much, that really colder and running top fuel nitro uh, burning funny cars or, or top fuel or the door slammers even uh, it's just the noise is now too, too loud and to get 25, 30,000 people to, a, to an event um, at 10 o'clock at night, I think the residents would find it pretty annoying. So we, we've got to look at where the, where the location will be and the type of modelling. But we are pushing it. I've pushed it and I'm pushing it through, uh, through our parties. So when, so when you say that you're pushing it, I mean, you've got to get this through your party. I mean, this isn't your speaking as Richard Delarie, a drag racing fan, the, but... At this stage, I mean, do, does the party have an official, does the opposition have an official line on this at this stage? Not at this stage, but I can say that I've submitted something that would please a lot of drag racing fans in Victoria, and I think the main thing is that drag racing fans, uh, your audience, your viewers need, if they have a, a, 
a want of drag racing in Victoria. They need to get behind it. They need to have a petition. There was a petition uh, on the day at Motivate. There was something like 16,500 people at this demonstration. Uh, that's a significant number of people right across Victoria who came there, demonstrated that they need this drag strip, that what they need to do is to demonstrate that this is a professional uh, event. This is not about hoons and the like. This is about um, having a professional event in Victoria and bringing back drag racing to where it once was in the capital sporting arena in Australia, being Melbourne. Is this part of the problem, I mean, in terms of getting this through, whether it's with your party or with the, with the government, is that the word drag racing, every time there's, a, there's an incident on the road, any time someone wraps their Subaru WRX around a pole somewhere, the, the headline screen, drag racing death, drag racing tragedy. Is, is this part of the problem that you know, the sport has... You know, through no fault of its own, has got this terrible reputation through basically through the, the laziness of idiot journalists who sit there and, uh, and don't know what we're talking about. I think it's, it's incumbent upon us to, un to let people know that drag racing is a professional sport, that you do have a lot of people who have spent hundreds of thousands, if not into the millions, in a sport which is recognised around the world and certainly in the US. It's a huge industry, it's a huge sport, it's a huge sport in, in Sydney and in Queensland and in Western Australia and what I'm looking for is the model to, we can bring to the, to the election to say here is a great model of which we'll deliver. But you're right, I don't think it's about lazy journalists, I think it's about the fact that we need to understand there is no facility at all for any youth, any person with a hotted up car in Victoria to go really on a regular basis to test their, their car. And it's been demonstrated when you speak to the other drag strips around the other states that when you have a facility that you open it on a Wednesday night and a Friday night, that all the supposed hoons that want to come out can go down there and, and test their cars and pit themselves against their mates in a very controlled, safe environment and then drive home knowing they've put their right foot down pretty hard and but it's out of their system. We don't have that capacity in Victoria at the moment and I think that's one of the issues that we need to argue, that the community needs to argue that drag racing is a professional sport. It's not about hoons. What about the... Uh, certainly, I mean, we have, as we mentioned on the show last week, we have invited the, the relevant minister, James Molino, to appear on the program. Now, he's, we've made a number of phone calls. He hasn't responded, unfortunately, but the offer is, of course, still open. But in a, in a sort of a, a letter that he sent to some of the people at Motivate Melbourne, some of the people who have written to him, he has said, we are negotiating with CAMS uh, in regard to the, to, to the drag strip. Now, that's, as I was saying a bit earlier, that's a bit like sort of, you know, saying we're going to build a new soccer stadium, we'll talk to the AFL about what they want. Um, but at the same time, CAMS will be saying, look, we need, we need cir a circuit as well. Sandown's, you know, on borrowed time. Calder is virtually dead and buried. Um, would it be better if all of these groups got together, CAMS, Andrew, the Speedway guys, all everybody, and, you know, basically plumped for a multi-purpose venue that could be used for everything? Uh, well, I think there's an argument about a multi-purpose facility. Once you start to go to that, though, the, the expense becomes a lot greater. Um, you raise the issue about James Molino. He's within sport and recreation. And I think that's the major problem that I indicated earlier. The drag strip will be built by major projects, Victoria. It'll actually built, be built by a separate department. Then the management, the running, in my view, should not be within the government departments. It should be managed in the model that's run in Western Sydney and uh, in uh, Motorplex where you've got a, a separate independent board uh, which then manage the ongoing maintenance of the facility. The upfront capital expenditure is the issue that I need to argue and that the people of Victoria need to argue as to why we've got one. For me, the government have got it wrong because they've got the wrong person arguing for the build of a drag strip. This is not about the... the this is not about the, the sport itself, this is about the facility being built. OK, well, uh, for, for people there, I mean, there is a, a Facebook page, Motivate Melbourne, they have a website, um, and you can, if you want to find out more about it, go to that website, and uh, b best of luck, and, uh, and thanks for coming in. Hopefully, no, it, hopefully it all works. As I said, the invitation to, uh, to, to anybody from the government side regarding this uh, project is, is, of course, still open in the couple of weeks we've got left here on Impit Lane. But for now, Richard Delareva, thanks for your time, thanks for joining us in Pit thanks, Lane. Sir. Thanks, Brett.